Hi, everybody. Hello, everyone. <laughs> yeah, you like that, right? Uh, yeah. Hello, okay. everyone. Okay, good after, uh, good evening, mm, everybody. Yes, everybody yeah. Um, Today, we're going to talk about preparation Patient instead of reaction. Yeah, better than reaction. Okay. I, I want to share something before before Zee will be uh, sharing. Yeah. Okay. I recently a couple of people have come come to me asking yeah. me for help, like yeah. what are you gonna do to get income and all that. Yeah. And I say, when was the last time you got your income? They yeah. say, oh, before March. I'm like March 2020. Yeah. And what have been happening since then? Oh, they're just going and digging into their savings. Yeah. So that is, and I said, why were you not? Why didn't you you mm. start doing something? Yeah. Uh, when the MCO was announced, like in March itself, for you to try where you're going to get your income and where you're going to uh, plan and all that. Um, and they said, oh, because we were waiting, we, we're waiting for um, things to, to change, yeah, change and yeah. go back to normal. Yeah. And I asked them, had things gone back to normal? And they said, no, that's why they are in, in a deeper mess yeah. um, because they've been going into their, their savings mm -hmm. and they have not done anything from March until now to do something about, to do something about their income or, or or to find ways and now it's a little bit late you know not say a little bit it's very late already it's like almost a year since since uh, COVID happened right yeah. and uh, a lot of a lot of the people are saying things that uh, you know they, they're still in that mindset of yeah. um, waiting for things to go back to normal yeah. or oh, when things go back to normal then you know um, you know I'll, I'll get back on my feet now I really yeah. need some help on this and that and, that, and the other and yeah. I'm like this is as normal as it gets already yeah. you know what are you doing in order for you to use this current situation yeah. to strengthen your income to, yeah. to grow your yeah. income and to strengthen your business model because yeah. all of those things that happened in the past does not apply now yeah. anymore yeah. right or, or what happened if it gets worse uh, we're gonna do exactly, about it. exactly. Yeah. Okay. Now the other thing is, it does not have to get worse. It has to be how yeah. you ride the yeah. trends and the yeah. waves and how things change and how you use this change yeah. to actually incorporate into your yeah. into your business model, into your lifestyle, into your yeah. income, and and embrace the 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 change and go in the flow um, with it as well, right? Yeah. So. You want to yeah. say about oh, yeah, I want to share about no. I want to share about you know like last time uh, SARS is quite similar to COVID only in it's a smaller scale, but for companies or for people who hello, hello everyone yeah for people thanks for the loves yeah for people who actually took uh take SARS as a lesson and they prepared for it they 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 did uh, they did extra steps on how to uh, overcome the SARS, then these companies they survive they don't struggle but those companies who actually or individuals who do not prepare like even after SARS they have so much lessons but they do not prepare and they still want to stick to the old ways of doing business then when COVID happened they really hit bad and many big businesses Ooh. actually closed down because they did not want to change they want they did not want to pivot yeah, yeah. big businesses closed down how about those people who are uh, yeah. small businesses or people who have been you know, people yeah. who have been earning an income all their lives and then suddenly their income is stopped or yeah. they, they're, they're, they're asked yeah. to leave because their, their companies cannot support yeah. them anymore. And what do they do in between? Yeah. They're just sit, if they're just sitting there with their mobile and their internet and the laptop at home, yeah. that, that is a waste of resources that are already available that yeah. can, can turn your life around, right? Mm. So I'm, I'm quite amazed that a, a couple of people, I who have been in touch with me yeah. uh, are doing exactly that. They have not, they have not created something. They're, they're not, still waiting. they're still waiting for things to change. But, and yeah. you know, this, this, this is as far as it, this is, yeah. this is, the, this is the normal already. It is what are you going to do now in yeah. with okay. this normal yeah. to create a new life for yourself yeah. and a new normal for yourself. Right? Yeah. So, that is why we're very excited this okay before you go there before you go there i know you're going right before you go there we actually met along this about six over months journey of uh this lockdown we have met a lot of entrepreneurs who actually uh, came to us they were struggling and some even successful entrepreneurs came to uh, talk to us and they shared that they had friends who are not the normal kind of sme small business they are a uh, uh, big business multi-million dollar business but some of them killed uh committed suicide. Suicide. Yeah, suicide. Three, three of uh, our one of our contacts he they commit suicide you know and 
recently we had Mushra was on the Fresh Brew and we met a pilot. Want to share a story Na- about the, the yeah, yeah, Naim, uh, Nasir. He runs a, a burger stall Smash, now. Smash Burger. Yes, yeah. Smash Burger in Shalam. He used yeah. to be a pilot and then now he runs his own burger business. Yeah. Total change of industry yeah. and career move. He That's is inspiring. making money. He is, he is uh, you know, uh, making profits and he is uh, able to support his, his lifestyle. He's even expanding, right? Yeah. He was sharing that, you know, whatever was reported in the news, yeah. it is really uh, the, oh. the number of people who committed suicide in terms of those from the aviation industry, particularly the pilots, right? Yeah. Uh, who committed suicide? Who who have ended their life because of that loss of income, and loss, loss of, of li- lifestyle, of loss loss mm. of job? Yeah. Um, you know, it's it's really un- underrepresented than what is already yeah. mentioned in the newspaper. There's a lot yeah. more people um, from his you know his colleagues who um, you know uh, pilots um, killed themselves during during COVID, COVID times. Yeah. So any any I find that that's you know, it is such a waste of, of life yeah. and and what is possible, yeah. what they could do, yeah. like how how Naim has turned his life around. Yeah. And this is something that we want to encourage people yeah. that don't wait anymore. Just just get into yeah. that mode of yeah. growing your business, do growing something. your income, yeah. or even changing the, the way you do things. If you are still doing the same things you have been doing in 2019 yeah. and no change has been done since since 2020 happened and you're still waiting for things to go back to 2019, yeah. it's not going to happen. Yeah. I mean, you hardly hear people from the 1950s, for example, say, you know, at this time, imagine somebody from, from uh, um, uh, you know, born or, or, or grew up in 1960s or 1950s, saying things like, oh, when things go back to 1950, yeah. it's not going to go back to 1950. It has evolved. The world has evolved. New technology, yeah. new lifestyle, the way we do things are different. And it's just expedited during COVID. Mm. So we have gone into the now yeah. and the future never already. Be, it never be the same it's not again. going to go back to 2019 kind of way already. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the way it is. And new things are going to come up. Yeah. Uh, new technology is going to come up. And that's why we want you all to be ready. And we want you all to prepare for what's to yeah. come instead of reacting yeah. and suffering. And it does not have to be that way. Yeah, recently we actually, uh, because throughout our COVID journey, we also faced a lot of, initially we, we lo- uh, faced a lot of loss of income because we were doing a lot of on- offline events. But what happened was when the, I remember, I still remember very clearly in my mind in March when we were sharing about lockdown and then they said uh, other countries uh, having lockdown and then is probably coming coming to Malaysia. So that night, I have, I just I when I was sleeping and I heard Mushida was crying. You know, like I said, why is she crying? You know, but I was just too tired. I said, let me just sleep and then I wake. I'll wake up in the morning and ask her. You know, so then uh, when I uh, woke up the next morning, I talked to Mushida. Then I found out that actually Malaysia is under lockdown and then uh, uh, we lost our whole, most whole years of income. Everything was cancelled. Our government corporate training, our plans to travel to different different countries to expand our business was cancelled. You know, so then. Uh, we were stuck and then I uh, want to share, you know, what's the reason why you were crying? Oh, yeah, the other things, a couple of things that, that came up also besides yeah. the loss of income. Yeah. yeah, I was asking God, like, what is this? What is this about? What is, what yeah. am I supposed to get out of this? But the first thing that struck me was I had that realization. Hey, we are all in the same house together, locked down together with the three cats, you know, yeah. and, and, and. Uh, that time was three cats, right? We had yeah. Terry at that time, yeah. yeah. And then, uh, you know, with the three cats, and I was like, "Hey, I'm very grateful because if I if we were yeah. traveling just about uh, yeah. one or two weeks before that, yeah. um, and and this lockdown happened, we will be separated. All three yeah. of us will be separated, three different countries, uh, t- uh, two different countries, and we won't be able to come back together yeah. in Malaysia and all yeah. that. So the fact that we are all trapped together yeah. at home yeah. it's a good thing so yeah. the, the gratitude started coming in yeah. and then the other thing that happened was also i was thinking you know a pandemic you know uh, we're not sure when is our life going to end anytime now yeah. I, at that time in march COVID, we're not sure yeah. because covid was like oh this major thing going on people are gonna die and all that and i'm thinking i could co- i could yeah. die anytime yep. so what have i done am i ready to meet my maker have yeah. i said the things that i was gonna i would uh, do I, I said I was going to do. Yeah. I have not ful- finished doing or fulfilling my life purpose. I, that's what I felt, right? Mm. Um, and I said that was that was something I wanted to 
to fulfill my dream. So mm. that was something that that we worked on, and mm. we started with whatever resources we already have. Yeah. So like I always, um, um, you know, coach my clients, yeah. work with what you already have right yeah. now. Let's identify that and let's mm. turn that into money making machine, money yeah. making machine, yeah. money making machine. And with whatever situation yeah. that we have right now. You can create a money making machine yeah. for yourself. Yeah. Have a good lifestyle. Yeah. Um, live, uh, you know, um, and 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 grow your business and yeah. add impact at the same time. Help yeah. people at the same time. Yeah. Help yourself. Help your family at the same yeah. time. And this is what we we strongly believe. Yeah. We made it possible for ourselves, and this is something that yeah. we would like to uh, work yeah. with all of you out yeah. there. We had yeah, we had um, people who members entrepreneurs who joined our community, and they had zero knowledge of. Online. I mean, they they didn't they don't even have to use Zoom. Don't know how to do Abby Lives. You know, even we were learning on how to do Abby Lives and all this. But we're still learning. Yeah, but with the things that we we were we were tried and tested and we we it worked and then we taught our members in our community. There's some of them that's already their regular twenty five uh, k every month and it's in, during COVID times. And it's during COVID times. And, and, and they, they are even... physical products making uh, goods. You know. Yeah, and then uh, some some are through services. So. There are a lot of things that you can actually use um, yeah. with regards to your own yeah. expertise and your own business. All right. So let's talk, and we'd like to get to know you. Uh, mm. Do um, schedule a call with myself or with Zil, yeah. and we'd love to see how we can mm. support you. If there's any ideas that we can share yeah. with you on how you can grow your business, get get, get yeah. money, and, and thrive during these times, yeah. and do not wait anymore. Because yeah. we personally, I was shocked when I heard some people saying that. Uh, I'm still trying to get a job, you know, because of, to, because yeah. of COVID, and I'm like, because of COVID, I mean that was like last year because of COVID. Yeah. Right now, it is uh, no. life is as as it is already. Yeah. So what are you gonna do? You can't wait anymore and say when yeah. this thing is over. When is it going to be over? We yeah. have no idea, right? Yeah. So let's 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 go through this. Let's uh, create some uh, fantastic life and purpose yeah. at the same time yeah. uh, with whatever resources that you have. Turn yeah. it around to make it into a multiple, um, you know, five-figure, yeah. uh, six-figure business for you monthly, yeah. um, you know, uh, through your products or services, yeah. putting it all online yeah. and get to know what is upcoming yeah in the trends all right yeah. uh, there's a lot of reports have uh, going out i i i have i've read the mckinsey report uh, regarding the 2021 trends um if any of you are interested to get that report send me a dm yeah. with your email and i'll forward that to you yeah. um and this saturday uh we are inviting um Chinese. charlie up yeah. futurist and um uh, innovation Whoa. strategies yeah. He has been studying trends for many, many years yeah. from the past until now and what's coming up in the next yeah. 30 years. There are a lot of things that's going to come up. And yeah. you know, things and that's then, happening... And the, the futurists say, even Charlie said, there are things that are going to be worse than COVID. COVID is just the first step of the things is bad, but it's going to get worse. So what happens if even COVID, we cannot survive? What happens to other things that happen like the recession, uh, food security? What, what are we going to do? Yeah. Yeah. So that's why we always stress out that we need to be prepared, we need to prepare from now, so if any other crisis happens, it can be a second wave of COVID, it can be something worse, but we are prepared. But if you're not prepared, and then it happens again, I don't know, if you did not survive the first time around, the second time around, yeah. it's, it's going to be very yes, scary. Yes. Be very so, scary. Um, yeah. the best thing is, uh, schedule a call with us, come to the webinar this, this Saturday, Saturday at 10 o'clock, yeah. uh, we'd love to be able to support you to, to thrive yeah. and uh, let's be one. Let's not be one of those people who are, uh, you know, saying things like, "Oh, I, I can't survive now. I am, you know, I lost my job yeah. in March, and I'm still not able to get a new job. There are no jobs. Yeah. All right. That's why I'm. I'm going to tell you straight in the face. Yeah. You, yeah. There are no jobs right now. Okay. Yeah. Unless you are have you have specific skills, online skills. Um, that is something that that can be used. But other than yeah. that. If you're looking for the old way of you know your your job in uh, 2019 yeah. and and your company has let you go because um there's there's uh, no more you know a role for you in the yeah. in or the business is not growing uh, then you got to figure out you've got to do something yeah. and apply it and you know you can actually thrive during this time right yeah, yeah. so book a call with us and this is something that we highly encourage you do not wait do not react yeah. do not wait for things to Happen. to turn around yeah. for government waiting, for bailout waiting for bailouts and then blaming everyone you cannot do that yeah. be prepared 
start taking radical mm -hmm. responsibility yeah. and start going for your for your dreams and purpose our life purpose is still is still yeah. ongoing you, you don't have to sacrifice right? COVID your, or not yeah, you don't have to sacrifice your lifestyle because of all this crisis you can actually if you prepare for it when it happens you can actually at least uh, maintain you know or you can still even grow fulfill your purpose what you what you plan to do like like even for us right all these things happen it was a big blow to us as well but uh, <coughs> during these times we're able to help more people in the create more social impact yes. help five extra communities and we're able to go to a uh, recently five star retreat where we did our challenge just to encourage <coughs> people to see a bigger picture you know you don't have to it's not a death sentence we can still turn it around but you need to work on the mindset and the the, the yeah. planning the part the preparing yeah. part yeah so yeah. so uh yeah exactly so we will see you this saturday at 10 yeah. o'clock we'll put um, the link later on for you yeah to i'll put the link uh, uh in the comments so we, we hope to see some of you there yeah. lots of love everybody Salam Salam have a good, that's the evening bye 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 bye